Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. This video is for the Income School Project 24 members. Thank you so much for the love in your discourse discussions groups about using Shortly and the AI Content Dojo, giving you the help and advice that you need to make the most of that tool since it is a little bit difficult to get into and it's really minimal and doesn't really explain everything very well from the start. Uh, obviously, you know that you can write in it, but it's very powerful and, and capable of everything that conversion AI is. So if you're um, looking at shortly as an alternative or something like that, then I want to give back to you first for having used the AI Content Dojo to get an understanding of this. And um, so... I'm going to return that favor with just putting nine of my best tips all in this one video just for you. So before I get started, though, some people have shown some worry or concern that shortly isn't maybe profitable enough or, um, you know, growing fast enough that it's going to disappear or doesn't have a strong future. From, I, I've had that same question myself several times. And the closer that I get to the Shortly team, the, the more I've been involved, the more I've realized that it's growing very well. It's making plenty of money. There's nothing as far as it going out of business that's going to impact it. Um, so it should be a strong, stable product going on for quite some time. Okay. So that out of the way, let's get started. Number one is probably the best tip that I could give you. And what I do is I always set my, um, by the way, what we're in right now, this is shortly, just in case you haven't seen it before. And this is what it looks like. You get the article brief on the left, title at the top, and then your content here. And you got a little write for me button down here that when you click on that, that's when the AI takes over and starts writing. And I always set it to a little bit of output because that gives me more opportunities to do the dance. And what I mean by the dance is you write the beginning part of your sentence and you kind of write just enough to get to the point where in your mind, you know how the rest of that sentence is going to finish. But instead of you finishing it, let the AI finish it. And what you'll find is many times, often, it will finish it the way you were going to finish it anyways, but then give you a little bit more. And that little bit more sometimes is serendipity, meaning by chance you get something really useful or, or, it, or it makes you think about something that maybe you weren't going to think about at all when you were writing your article. And that's a, a really good thing. Number two. You do get marketing copy from Shortly AI too. You can get it. And that's through the slash instruct command. You can do slash instruct, write an AIDA, an IDA, a pass or a BAB, like a before after bridge for the above. And what that means is I'm right here in, the, in this uh, text so far. And you notice it says for the above. That means maybe you would have your product description uh, right here above this this command. So I have a product description right here. Birdie, our revolutionary new backyard bird feeder. It's supposed to be bird feeder. <laughs> um, with an ultra HD 360 camera, camera award-winning design, and even squirrel proof. Okay. So let me just see if I can have the AI not do what I expected to do right in front of you and embarrass me. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a, let's go for a pass. What is that? Problem agitate and solve for the above. Now, another thing that I just use is the triple slash. That's the context cutoff ruler. Normally when you run like the instruct command or you're here inside of your article and you write, you click that write for me button, wherever your cursor is up, all of that, will be used. But since this triple slash is there, it'll only go up to here. This stops it. So I just like to put to place it between. 
By the way, some people will also think that Shortly will use the content below where you are. It does not. You don't have to worry about the content that is below where your cursor is. Okay, let's see if the AI can blow up and not give me what I want. I'm going to hit control enter after this command and it's supposed to write a PAS for this product description about birdie. Let's see what it does. Bird watching as a hobby can be expensive. Our bird feeder is not only affordable, we're taking backyard bird watching to this new and innovative way. That's pretty nice. That's actually a really good PAS. Okay, so now you know, you can also get the same sort of marketing copy that you would get maybe in something like Conversion AI. You can also get headline ideas, outlines, questions, answers, more. And it's just asking. That's sort of the power of shortly is inside of that instruct command. Think of this area right here. Like right here, I'm saying, give me some headline ideas, but you might say, give me some questions or give me an answer for, or whatever your nat your natural language sort of request would be as if you had turned to an AI assistant and you asked them for something. Just experiment. When you sign up for shortly, you get unlimited uh, text generation. So there's nothing lost if your command doesn't re return what you want, except for a little bit of time. But over time, as you learn and experiment more, you'll get better with the instruct command and you'll start getting some really interesting content from the AI. Number four, fact check. Always fact check. And this is a lot easier to do if you're doing the dance because you're writing the starting of the sentence, right? The AI is finishing it you're watching while it's writing and you'll catch those errors as it produces them. The AI is really good at sort of coming up with words and phrases that kind of connect ideas. It's, it's very much how like what a person's brain is architected like, is designed to predict and connect disparate thoughts to bring them to a one coherent kind of, you know, piece of content. But every once in a while, or depending if you're trying to really push the AI hard, it'll bring back something that sounds like facts, looks like facts, but if you know the, the topic really well, you'll realize that it, it's either, you know, exaggerating a little bit or pulling facts from tangent topics or something. They sound right, they fit, the context seems correct, but if you really know the topic, it's off. So just be careful with fact checking and stuff like that. And to make sure that um, you get your, your you keep your article on, on topic. Number five is use the article brief to explain unique things to the AI. What I mean about this is like you see right here, it says write an article for Birdie, our revolutionary new backyard bird feeder and so on, right? Birdie is a fictitious product. It's something that the AI would have no idea what it is because it doesn't exist. So you could imagine if this was your product, it's something you just built, you're launching it. There's no way that the AI has any idea what that is. But if you tell it what it is, then it can still give you good content about your product because you explained it to them or explained it to the AI. And it'll add in sort of these experiences, marketing text, all these other things, whatever you're asking for to give you copy based on your product. Number six, a good workflow if you're trying to create long-form content is of course, first researching. You know, you need to know the topic before you just go off and start writing about it. Same as if you were gonna write it yourself. And then create an outline. A rough outline is fine, but then create an inner outline, like an outline for each part of the outline, the main outline. And then you just do the dance within each of those little subsections until your article is done, maybe sprinkling in some instruct commands where you need to. Um, if you need some help with research, Phrase is a great AI research tool that will help you find and collate and bring all the research kind of into one place so that you can study up on your topic. Of course, if it's a product, like if you're trying to write a product review, please like buy the product, own it, you know, live with it for a while, use it, 
find out the real flaws, you know, share your experiences with those. I see a lot of questions about, hey, can Shortly or can Conversion AI or whoever, whatever tool they're talking about, can it write product reviews? Well, yes, it can, but I think in Income School would agree that's not really the right or the best way to do a product review. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, use the refine commands. You'll see the list of commands down here in the lower right hand corner. Instruct is in here, but also there's rewrite, shorten, and expand. You can see here what they do, and they sound is pretty pretty clear. One will rewrite your your selected text in kind of a unique way. It just changes it. Shorten will take a larger portion of text and cry and try to make it more concise. And extend or I mean sorry, expand is going to try and extend and maybe sort of develop that little bit of text. Um, and you can you can use these by just highlighting and then using the the keyboard shortcut which let's say let's see if we want um let's let it, let it expand on this so we'll do command right square bracket and a unique thing about these commands is whatever's inside of <laughs> yeah it, it doesn't know what phrase is so let me go back let me undo um what i was about to say is these three commands, rewrite, shorten, and expand, there's something unique about them. Um, when you hit the right button normally, remember how I just said that the AI will use everything above your current location? That doesn't happen with rewrite, shorten, or expand. When you use those three, only the content inside of this square bracket is used. So with that said, you can probably guess what the problem here is for getting this expanded, you know, there's a good chance that f the AI has no idea what phrase is. So for it to expand upon that would be very difficult. Now I, I could go in here and try and like explain like comma phrase is a, you know, um, a great AI research tool for finding something, something, you know, but the problem is inside of expand, you're limited to 120 characters inside of here. And that's a limitation put in place by the open AI uh, team to make sure that their product isn't being used to sort of automate the scalable generation of, of written content. Okay, number eight, try out the granular controls. If you're finding that maybe the AI is producing something that you either you, you want or, you, or like, I guess that you don't want, like if it's a word or something that like you just, you don't want that word to appear in the output. You can use the triple dash to get rid of it. Minus, 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 or, or actually it's weighted. So give me some headline ideas. For example, give me some headline ideas for, let's just make this working from home. But then I don't want um, desk. Let's see, nothing changes. Let me undo that. This is one of the things about this thing trying the Mac only is trying to make this into like an M dash or something. Let's see, let me put a space there. Okay, da, da, da. let's see if I can make it not not do that. <laughs> and then desk, and then let's see if we can put that there. Okay, wow. Uh, so in theory, since this is three minuses. This word desk is supposed to absolutely not appear in the output. And the flip side would be is if you put in, let's say, oh man, <laughs> this is so uh, annoying, isn't it? Wow. Okay, well I was going to add another one. Let's see if I can come from this angle. Okay, the pluses do the same thing. Pluses mean you really want the art, uh, the word inside of the output. The difference is, is that minus, minus, minus is supposed to mean that that word will not appear. But plus, plus, plus does not mean that the word will definitely appear. It means please really, really try hard to put it in there. But if there's no way for the AI to put it in there, to use that word in the output, it's not going to. Uh, so let's see if we can maybe say organizer but we don't want the word desk to appear. Give me some headline ideas for working from home. Let's um, let's just cut off the context because instruct does use some context above it. 
and we'll run this command. Now, should not use the word desk and try to use the word organizer when working from home. Oh, looks like organizer was not able to be used, but that's fine. Um, so desk was not used, and so that's the point, is if you get into the part of your article where, where for some reason there's a word that you do not want to have appear, triple minus will make sure that it doesn't appear. And the last piece of advice is the triple slash. You've already seen it in action, but I call it the context cutoff ruler because what it does is it stops the um, it stops shortly from using it to give to the AI uh, to produce the content that is what you're seeking. So you know, like you saw, um, let's just say that number six was a section I wanted to kind of cut off from the rest. And if I was here and it hit right for me right now, all of this would go and try and the AI would try and create some content for me and bring it back and put it right here. And so the triple slash can be very handy if let's say that you're 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 in the middle of a long article and the context above the, the section that you're working on right now, the topic is maybe slightly different. You're kind of you're kind of taking a small tangent or something like that. Or the AI for some reason is giving you content that you're not you're not really seeking. Try using the context cutoff ruler to break apart that section from the rest of the article so that the AI has a little bit less to work with. But it's you know don't go too small, right? You need to provide enough content for the AI to work with. But you know cut off the parts that maybe don't relate perfectly to what you're trying to work on. And also, bonus tip. You can change this article brief over here anytime. So you'll set it once at the beginning of your article, of course. But then when you're down in that subsection and you're cutting off the context here, and this subsection is maybe supposed to be about something a little bit different, you can change this article brief to be more specific to what you're writing about in this section at that time. And then change it back or change it, you know, keep adding more topic rich keywords to it over time or whatever. But always keep that article brief kind of overall of the gist of what you're trying to write about and help keep the AI, you know, sort of focused and on track. And that's it for the tips that I wanted to give you as a Project 24 member. I appreciate the love in your groups, in your chats, in your talks, that you're sharing my site, you're sharing my, my YouTube channel, and I'm glad that I'm able to help you make the most of shortly because it really is a pretty darn good tool for getting the most out of your time when you're writing. And so all of that said, um, if you don't have shortly already and you do decide to purchase using the link down in the description, that is an affiliate link. Um, and shortly will provide me with a small commission to help support the AI content dojo. And so of course, with no extra charge to you, and um, so in, in essence, you would be supporting the AI Content Dojo, and I would really appreciate that. Definitely a lot more content to come. And if you're not yet in the AI Content Dojo Facebook group, just go search for it. There's also going to be a link down below, of course, but you can find it in Facebook pretty easy. And it's just a bunch of ninjas talking about AI content tools and um, having a good time. So I hope to see you there. And until next time, take care.